Good afternoon and welcome back to Fort Kochi, Kerala here in God's own country. Today we are leaving Fort Kochi for the first time. It's difficult to do, it's this tourist hub that is set up and I'm very relaxed in Fort Kochi but we are going to be heading out to explore the city of over 3 million people and we need to leave our island. It's actually really difficult, the traffic coming in here on the way from the airport was ridiculous. So we have another mode of transport. We are going to be getting a ferry off the island. And then we have heard that recently, India's first ever water metro opened. So we've got to go across to one island and then from that island, get the water metro in to the city center of Kochi. They haven't actually set up the water metro to Fort Kochi yet. They're in the middle of doing it right now. So to get to the first water metro station that's near us, we actually have to get a government ferry across. And I think it's around here. I cannot actually see any boats or station. Yeah. Oh, actually, I think it might be here. There's a small, yeah. Yeah, I think this is it. This Fort Kochi ferry station. Um, and there's a lot of people gathering, so that can only mean one thing, right? Hopefully. Can you get the ferry ticket? Viping. It's for Viping. From here? No. Thank you. Thank you. Fort Kochi to Viping. Okay, I think the ferry is coming now. I think it's three rupees per person, which is an absolute. How much is that? Like one P? I don't even know. I'm, I'm trying to work it out. I think that's ridiculous. Wow. Hi, Nana Shara, can I have two tickets, please? Two tickets? Yes, please. Two five in. Okay. Thank you. And we just wait here. When does it go? How long? Just waiting here. Okay. Thank you, Nani. Okay, so. There we go, six rupees from Fort Kochi to Vibin, and as you heard him, we're just waiting. I do think that's coming now though. <laughs> we really need to say a massive thank you to Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel. They actually have set us up with a task of giving you some tips on how to deal with the dreaded jet lag. Jet lag occurs because your body's internal body clock has basically synced to your original time zone. So as difficult as it may be, you do need to retrain your body to sleep at the normal time, the new normal of the destination that you're in. The first tip that we have for you would be to book a late flight. Now, normally when you pop onto Skyscanner, you might see that the later flights are normally cheaper or the super early ones. They're normally the ones at the most inconvenient time. So we would suggest booking that late flight. The reason we say that is because when you arrive in your new destination, hopefully you will be tired um, and you will just fall asleep, meaning you are waking up bright and fresh the next morning, ready to explore your new destination. The second tip that we have is to eat and drink. I know that sounds crazy, but jet lag pretty much occurs because your body is dehydrated um, and eating good food and drinking lots of water will stop your body from becoming dehydrated and putting you into sleep mode. And the third and final tip is to be patient. Jet lag takes some time to get over, it takes a while for your body to recover and it takes some time for your body to actually get used to the zone you're in, to sink itself in with where you are. We're actually lucky and I don't want to jinx it but we haven't had jet lag for a while. But again, thank you Skyscanner for being a long-term partner on our channel. Here it comes. This has got to be the cheapest way to see the backwaters of Kerala. Oh, it's a three English pence each. That is absolutely insane. And I don't know if we have seats or if we're just going to be there. Let the pushing commence. I think it looks pretty civilised. Oh my god, people are running off. Oh, it's got cars as well. Oh, this is cool. So people can drive on and get across the other island. It's a good way to skip the traffic. Yeah, and it takes, what, hopefully five minutes? Thank you. Here we go. This has got to be India's cheapest boat ride or the cheapest boat trip ferry in all of Kerala. Only three rupees each. And this is it. I think we need to walk to the back. Yeah, it looks like okay. I think there are some Everyone else is taking the shady ones. I don't mind. Might as well catch a town on the cheapest boat. <laughs> this is crazy. You've got all 
all the bikes waiting to come on and they're bringing on these look, look at the size of that giant buses to skip <laughs> to skip all of the traffic Two minutes later, we have made it to Viping Island. That has got to be the cheapest boat trip I have done anywhere in the world. We now need to find, oh, I think it's right here. Right outside of the Viping Pokey Water Metro. And while we were on the boat, we actually saw the water metro. Oh, look at these. These are really cool, look. So this is India's first water metro. And if you can see, they're actually shaped and coloured like an actual metro. We need to be quick, it's like think, that one's going. I could be wrong, but I think they're electric. Um, and they opened in 2023, which is really cool. It's so random, look at this. It just looks like any normal metro station. Busy. <laughs> Busy. Look, any metro station, but it's a, a water metro. A blooming water metro. We're not the only ones getting on it. It looks, it feels... It's just everything about it is a metro station. Even like the, the little ticket stations, um, and you have to go through a little barrier. Like we do really need to be quick because I think that one is about to leave. Look at this, it's even got <laughs> a metro ticket office, but the queues here are huge. Like, I really want to make this ferry metro. I'm not calling it a ferry, I'm calling it a metro. metro. I can't work out how much that is. 20 pence? 20 pence each. Not as cheap as a ferry, but it is a water metro. Thank you, Nanny. Here are our tickets. Are you ready? Oh, this is really, look at this. You get your very own water metro ticket. Hello. Thank you, Nanny. Oh, thank you. This is so random. Oh, I've missed it. Yeah, we've missed it. What a shame. But uh, I think the next one goes in 10 minutes. So they run between every 10 to 15 minutes, which isn't too bad. And we are getting on at the Water Metro for the very first time. I can't believe how much it actually looks like the Look water at tray. Look at this. It's colourful. Hello. And it has big black windows like a train does. You know, we just know it's going to have aircon inside. I'm not going to be sweating out. This is cool. Uh, Don't you can stand outside or just inside? I think it's inside, I think. Hello. Is it just inside? Yeah. Thank you. Aww. It looks like the Metro. <laughs> this is so cool. We have literally never been on a water Metro before. Um, but they've designed it. Look, if you look to what I'm looking at right now. Would you think I'm on the water right now? Probably not. And we are off on the water metro. So apparently there are 15 different routes over 75 kilometers and all of these are electric. And you can see, you can see around there, look at the views outside. There are even little USB ports there so you can come and charge your phone or take it. Look at this, the Blimmin' Water Metro. I actually noticed that when we got on they stopped so the boat actually gets to a capacity so this is as busy as the Metro is going to get. It's not going to be like in the cities where you're all crammed up like sardines get all of this space and I think we're just about pulling in. It took a little bit longer than I expected. I quite liked it though because you're just out on the water. It's cool, it's aircon. Um, and like Matt said, we have space and 20 rupees or 20 English pence. This is probably one of the coolest things we have ever done. And we've made it. Welcome to High 
cycle after about 15, thank you, 15 to 20 minutes on, look at this, the water Honestly, metro. I find them so cool, so unique. As you can hear, there's another one going back to where we just came from. Um, I love the colours of them, and like we've said a few times, they really do look like trains. It's honestly so cool. I like it. I think this is actually the main station, the Delhi Central of the Kochi Water Metro. But there seems to be a little bit of a a little bit of a queue to get out. But apart from that, it's really cool. It's chill. It's not cramped. Well, well, it's a little bit cramped now. There's the rush. Go, 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 go. Go, Molly. Go, 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 go. You can make it. You can make it. Ah. and we're out welcome to high court this is essentially the center of kochi and the plan was to get the water metro across, the water metro across and then head even further into kochi to india's supposedly india's largest mall but i don't know if we can bo i don't know if we can be bothered for that today it's so hot and we've heard that this area is really good to explore if we do get out. I was singing its praises, yeah. now it's just taking forever. Now we, it, it's, it's taking as long as the boat ride did. Hello. Thank you. So this is Marine Drive. Essentially the gateway to the islands of Kochi, you can get all sorts of boat trips along here. We might actually try and get one. We're thinking that the mall is probably not a good idea today. The weather is too good to be inside. The problem is, it seems like a lot of them are like group tours that go on for like two, three hours. We just want a tiny boat that maybe could take us out for an hour or so, something like that, and show us a couple of the sights. But this is Marine Drive. Got some street food, some sunglasses sellers, Hopefully, a good boatman. Hello, my friend. You have boat tour? Yes, small speed boat. I done very YouTube people. 30 minutes. Spot on a yeah. small one. one hour, Where do you go? One hour, that's it. Arabian sea. I'm staying in Kishinev for 30 minutes. And big ship. In the 30 minutes one, where do you go? One hour, 30 minutes to get out for the bridge. We've already balanced. We're under high up. We'll look at nothing. And come back here. Okay. How much is 30 minutes? 800. What is your best price? Look, look at the I know, but that's just some writing on a board. <laughs> we might go a bit more. 30 minutes, 800 sounds quite good. So this is it, the slow, the, the slow speed boat. But what is your best price? Maybe it's worth having a look at some others because that goes to Balgati Marina, right? It's actually just that behind the marina city and see and see more. I look in the We have already seen the fishing nets. 30 minutes is good, but can you not do cheaper price? But not a cheaper price? Best price? Yeah. What is your best price? What is the best price? I know, I know. Okay, why don't we go and have a look? We'll go and see. We'll, see. we'll have a walk and then maybe I will come back. Thank you. <laughs> okay, yeah. So that's the first person we talked to and they're saying 800 for 30 minutes on a private speedboat, which doesn't sound too bad at all. What's that like? Eight English pounds. This wasn't the plan today. But the weather's too good not to just get out on the... Whoa! Who was that? <laughs> Everyone's throwing bangers. They just keep back. They have these little popping things and they're popping down on my feet. But um, yeah, we'll see if we can get cheaper. Obviously the board says 800, but that doesn't mean the price is 800. Hey, you're throwing these at me. What have you got? Bangers? Show me. What are these? Ah, whoa, whoa! Can He's I attacking me! Hello, 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 hello. Ready, thank you, ready? Oh, oh why, why did mine not go? Yay. Whoa! <laughs> Very good, what is your name? Dilshan. Dilshan, nice to meet you. you. No, no, nice to meet you. There you go. Thank you so much. Whoa! whoa. YouTube, YouTube. Yeah. Have your, I will write down for you. Only 10 rupees, okay, I will buy some. I will buy some. Molly, have you got 10 rupees for me? 20. 20, I have two boxes. Two boxes. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much, Nanny, okay. <laughs> we have the goods, we have the bangers. Here you go, you can have one. Yeah. For you. 
Thank you. Thank you. Gentlemen travel. Subscribe. Have fun. Nice to meet nice you. To meet you. <laughs> at first they were throwing them at me. In the end they were like our best friends. We now have a crowd. <laughs> Hi. Do you want to do the honours? Are they good? Good it's okay, we have. We have now. Oh, I feel like a child. Slowly, slowly, we're too old. Slowly. We're too old for this. Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> Jay Hind! Jay Hind! Can I have a go? What are we doing? What are we doing? Are you ready? <laughs> Hello! How do you know? How much is it? How much? Six hundred. Let's do it. For how long? Half an hour. Half an hour? On on the water. Okay. okay, can you drop us at Fort Kochi, not here? Fort Kochi is one hour. Why one hour? Uh, it takes longer. Oh, this is the other one. You said 800, he said 600. That's a price. Okay, we'll come with you. Okay. They're all getting angry now. We have found our man. But we want to be dropped back to Fort Kochi. You can't take us back to Fort Kochi? How much to take us round and drop us at Fort Kochi? Yeah. No, 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 no. This is just a journey to one hour journey. It's not one hour. One hour long long Okay. Fort Kochi is very close. I don't know what I want to do now. Because it seems pointless us coming back here to then get a boat back. Maybe they could drop us at Bulgati, I wonder. Because that's another island that we can get the metro from. Okay, let's do it. Where do we go? That one, that one. How do I get there? Small one. Small one? Okay, we've decided to do an hour instead for a thousand, which doesn't seem bad considering the first guy wanted 800 for half an hour. I have no idea how we're going to get to the oh, boat. I think we have to cross, so we've got to wait for everyone to come off and then we have to cross from boat to boat, but I really don't think it's that bad. I mean, we could get the water metro back, but where's the fun in that when we can get and we can see some a sights. driver to take us? See some sights on the way. Well, this is definitely a bit of a surprise. The plan, thank you, my friend. The plan thank was, you, thank, you. thank you, thank you, thanks. The plan was to go to the mall, but it's too hot for the mall. I need to be out in the sun, on the waters of Kerala. And one hour on a private speedboat. This way? Okay. In here? In here? Ah, uh, okay, and then you pick us up? I have no idea. We're going on to the big boat. But yeah, one hour for a thousand rupees on a private boat. Sounds good. Here he comes. Woohoo! Hello! Is, we're on Queen. Queen Aina. Aina. Anna. 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 Queen Aina. Okay. Whoa! How do we get in without falling? Should we jump? Joking. Queen Aina. Queen Aina. Okay. Careful. This is gonna be a task. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Okay, you go first. You good? Hello. You in? Oh, I really think I'm going to fall in here. Hold on. Hold on. So my sunglasses don't fall off. Watch your head. Oh, my, God. Oh my gosh, there's no room, my friend. <laughs> oh, we're, whoa. we're on. Cello. I don't know what cello is in Malay land. No, no, no. We've had the cello. Oh, Just like this. Just like this. And we're okay. Very safe. Okay, we are on Queen Aina. Where do we go first, my friend? Where do we go first? Bulgati Palace? Palace? Okay. First stop, Bulgati Palace. My friend, what is your name? My name is Uday. Uday? Ah. Your name is Uday? Uday. I'm Matt, nice to meet you. So Uday is going to be taking us around to a few of the sites here in Kochi on our little yellow boat. I love this. It's just Yes. It opened this year. Yes, yes, yes. We we got the water metro earlier. It's very good. You're better, but getting the boat with you is better than water metro. Yeah. But you are better. You are number one. Water metro number two. <laughs> Is 
it now a hotel? Yeah, uh, the Bulgati. They're rented. Ah, rented. rented. Wow. Wow, look at this. So whoever stayed at the Bulgati Palace today has certainly got a collection of nice boats. Look at that, what a location. Yeah. It's, it's very nice. Look at these rooms. So this is the honeymoon, honeymoon, honeymoon. So this is the honeymoon rooms at the Bulgati Resort next to next to the palace. It looks like a cool place to say you can come. It's very nice. There's a wedding. There's a wedding. That's lovely. The celebration. because the big trawler ships, the fishing boats, the navy, they're all going past but we're now right up near, whoa, some big waves coming. So the fishing nets are just there but I think we're going to try, we can go to this hotel. Yeah, we, we can go. We can stop there. Stop there. Yeah. What was it? Yeah, the hotel. Yeah, 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 here. Here the Brandon Boat Yard. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hotel, hotel. Hotel, yeah, yeah. we can go. I don't think you can stop there, it might be private. I'm not sure. The plan? We're getting told to move. Yeah. Oh my gosh, we're like surrounded by all these big boats. That was the ferry that we got earlier from Fort Kochi. But we've noticed this hotel. We're gonna see, it'd be pretty cool if we could just like turn up. At... Oh wow. It'd be pretty cool if we could just turn up at the hotel and rock up, maybe get a drink. Molly and Matt, who died? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. Nanny. Nanny. <laughs> what a legend. Who died has dropped us back. Safe trip to Fort Kochi. That's the ferry that we took this morning. We couldn't actually. Oh my God, where are we going? We couldn't go back to. I'm confused. Where are we? This is a little bit. This isn't the Borenton boatyard. He's dropped us next to the hotel where I want to go and get a drink. I'm going to celebrate becoming the captain of a boat in Kerala. Thank you.
Cheers. Cheers. We made it. We have made it to the Brompton boatyard. The noise you can hear behind me is the local government ferry that we, we got, got earlier. On earlier. I much preferred being pulled up by Udai, um, but this used to be the old boatyard. They basically, during the, the British time, this was where the boats were kept. I don't know what else you do on a boatyard, where you pull up, um, and they've restored it basically to a beautiful colonial style. They actually have a good nice. location being on the waterfront. You get to watch everyone come in and they have a Kingfisher Ultra. Sometimes the spontaneous days, the things that you least expect are the most fun. The plan, mm, that is lovely, was to go to the mall, but we ended up on the boat with Udai and getting the water metro. India's first water metro was very unique, but this is the best way to end the day. We're going to sit here at the Brunton Boatyard, watch all the boats and the ferries go past, watch the sunset and enjoy a lovely ice cold mm. Kingfisher Ultra. But tomorrow we are leaving the city of Kochi and we are heading further south to get back on the water in Aleppo. See you in the next one.